Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to the makeup community. If this is your first time here, my name's Chris. You're going to notice in my voice and in my hands that I have tremors and, and that is called Parkinson's syndrome, which is defined as genetic early onset Parkinson's. And that's how everything got started. I wanted to show that just because you had some challenges does not mean that you have to give up what you know and love. And what this girl knows and loves is makeup. So I am looking around at everybody's channels and they're all doing the low buy and no buy and I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. But I already made a Sephora haul and an Ulta haul, which I'll be showing you guys too. So yeah. So I wanted to follow up. I, I had such a negative time with the Huda Beauty liquid eyeshadows that I wanted to just immediately follow up with something more positive and more fun and so that is going to be my Sephora haul. So yeah I got my, my box head all that I just unloaded. I just you know I I hate doing negative reviews but I also want to be honest with you guys because I don't want you you know I mean that's part of why I wanted to do this channel is to review things and let you know if it's worth buying or not before you take your money you know and, and go spend it on something that you you know thought you would really like like these shadows so part of my haul is the Huda Beauty Matte Metal Melted Shadows I got two of them um, today. I actually posted the review of this. Um, just posted it right before I started recording this. These are crusty and thick and not blendable and just, oh, I, I, I looked so forward to these coming out ever since I saw the preview. Um, I, I'm sad. I'm very sad. So I'm actually going to take these back. I generally don't return anything to Sephora. I will, if something doesn't work out for me, I figure it's going to work out for somebody. My sister gets a lot. Um, you know, she and I trade back and forth all the time with things that we purchased. And, you know, maybe it'll look good on her when it doesn't look good on me and vice versa. But these are going back. $25 a piece. No. So, I already used some of this because of those eyeshadows. I got the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This stuff works really well, guys, and the price point is great. And you get quite a bit, 4.2 ounces or 125 milliliters. This stuff works really well. I mean... I really like it. Now, my standard go-to has been the Mary Kay eye makeup remover, but it is such a pain in the patootie to find a Mary Kay person, and it's, you know, this price point is just, it's great, so I highly recommend that. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Mm, it's the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, and it's in the pink. I am so super excited. I love the first gloss bomb that came out. I skipped the diamond one because that just uh, wasn't quite up my alley, but I could not wait to try this one. This is more pink, and it's supposed to be universal, just like the first one. Ooh, let's swatch it and then put it on our lips. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Oh, oh. oh. That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take off my lippy stuff and we're going to try this. I love the formula. I absolutely love the formula of her gloss bombs. Oh my gosh. They are so great. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. Mmm. Smells awesome, too. Mmm. I am in love. I was so excited. So this kind of makes up for the disappointment for the melted eyeshadows. Oh, that is, that is gorgeous. This might actually take the place of the, no, 
Nothing will take a place of the original. I still love it. This will be an addition to the original. Mm. I just love her formula. This is great. This is awesome, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. So I am trying the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. And it's just a little bitty thing here. Um, I want to I wanna try it. I want to see. The, I figured this would be really good for travel and a really good way for me to try Natasha Denona's uh, face products. So that is what it looks like here. Let's swatch. Oh, they're soft. <gasps> Guys, these are so soft. I'll have to follow up on this one, but so far I think I'm really going to like it. Let's swatch. Oh, those are pretty. Very pretty. Oh, they're so soft. I like that. Ooh, I think we might have found something pretty cool there. Um, it is small, I'll give it that. It is very small, but for somebody who switches things around a lot, I think that's fine for me, plus for travel. Ooh, I really like that. Let me swatch that highlighter again, the glow part. Let me swatch that again. That is nice. That that will be very pretty. It's subtle, but that that is nice. I'll probably pack up another highlighter, like something that pow with me, um, you know, on top of this. But for the days that I really want something, you know, bam on there. But speaking of highlights, the Buxom Divine Goddess Lumin. Is it luminizing or illuminating palette? I got this palette here. Let's open this up. So it's got three colors, Venus, Luna, and Athena. If I can get into it. Oh, please excuse the hair, guys. I'm still feeling a little peeny from being sick for the last week. All right, so here's what the inside looks like. It is cardboard packaging. And let's open this up. Oh, okay. Are these creams? They're cream highlighter. Oh, it's uh, cream highlighters and bronzers. I did not realize that they were cream, but these are creams. Hmm, I don't work with creams a lot. We'll, you know, try this. I've been wanting to work with more cream. Okay, let's try these. I thought these were powders. Oh, they are nice. They are nice and smooth. Oh. I like them. Um, you know, a little surprised. I guess I should have read that they were creams. But, you know what? That's okay. These are nice. Um, the dark copper color is a little orangey, so... We'll just have to play with that, but... Okay, I figure, you know, if I play with it and I don't like it, I'm sure somebody that I know and love would like it. That is nice. So here it is again. I'll definitely use this, or I'm sorry, this. I'll definitely use this one. Uh, so I, this is, I think, my third or fourth tube of this. This is the uh, Mascara Melt Off from Too Faced. And I really love this. I wear waterproof mascara all the time. Even if I'm wearing a regular mascara, I will go in and put a waterproof over it. And so it's like a, a mascara wand, but it's got oil on it. And so what you do is you put it on your eyelashes and let it sit for five or ten minutes and then wipe it off and it dissolves everything it is great one thing i will say is every single one that i've had this outer cap breaks and so i end up opening it with a little you know the little itty bitty nub that's inside the pretty cap but you know whatever i mean it takes off my makeup remover 
I love it. Like it is the one thing to and actually get things off. So I will use this and let it set for five or ten minutes. You know, wipe it off, and then I'll go back in with an eye makeup remover to get like the rest of my eye makeup and the little, it you know, little traces of this, and it'll take it all off. I love that. And it looks like I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm off to try on a lipstick. I love this. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Man, Rihanna, you, you got my money, girl. You are awesome. This is a new lipstick from Marc Jacobs, and it is just peachy. It just came out. Um... I definitely want to try this on the lips. I'm going to swatch it and try it out. I almost didn't buy it because of the packaging. But I love their lipstick formula. Like anybody who won the uh, mascara lipstick combo from me. Um, not the last giveaway, but the one that I did beforehand. Let me know what you guys think. But I love it. But the packaging, I'm just a little like... Uh, yeah, this looks a little, like, um, retired old lady in Florida packaging, but, you know, whatever. Here, let's try this out. This looks like it is right up my alley. Ooh, that is right up my alley. That is very pretty. So, it's a nice, pretty peach, a darker peach color. Let's try this on. I love their formula, and it lasts very well. It's nice and moisturizing, but long-lasting. I've been living for the uh, Pat McGrath lipsticks lately, so I figured I should probably switch it up a little. I have to get rid of so many lip products. I mean, not because I don't like them, just because I don't wear them. Oh, I love this. Mmm. I love this. Pretty coppery. Beautiful. I really like that. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, and the, I love that these are magnetic. Their closures are. So, you know, you get them, you know, a little bit down and they just snap right closed. And then that way you don't have to worry about losing the cap in your purse or whatever. I love this. Uh, the packaging, yeah. That is straight up Golden Girls. Okay. Oh, we've got one more lip product and that's it for the products that I purchased. And this is the Tarte Tartist Remix Lip Gloss. And it's in the color Remix. I like Tarte glasses a lot. Let's take a look at, look at this. Like, I can't even describe that. Look how cool that gloss is. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cool. It's got purple and gold and copper and I just can't even tell you all the colors that are mixed in there. That is cool. That is really pretty. Let's put a little on. Mmm, I like this. It looks really good with a Marc Jacobs lip. Oh my gosh, I ran across something there. I didn't do that on purpose, but... Dang, that looks good together. Mm, what do you guys think? I love it. So, I got to pick out some freebies, and I got to uh, spend some of my points, but... As you guys know, I use the Stila eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and I was running low. And I'm used to using the sample size just because it's more comfortable for me to use the smaller size. So I put the bigger one in my little basket. I'm like, well, you know, I'll get used to using the bigger one again. I have a bigger one, you know, in brown. I'm fine with it. But then what do I find in the 100-point variety? Ta-da! 
the sample size of the Stay All Day a Liquid Liner. It's just more comfortable for me to use the little sample ones than it is to use the big one with my trimmers. I just feel like I get a little more control. So I popped the big one out of my basket, put my 100 points together on this one. Super happy that I did. Um, they also did a thing where you got like trial size things. If you spent 50 bucks, you got like three. If you spent, you know, more than that, you got five. So I got some of those. I picked up the blur stick from Milk Makeup. And I can't wait to try this. Because I've heard some really good things about this. Um, I also got the Rainforest of the Sea 4-in-1 setting mist. I actually have this. Um, and I like it. This is perfect for travel. And I picked up the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. These are so tiny, but they're so cute. I mean, they are so itty bitty tiny. But, you know, if I'm going somewhere overnight. But look, look how itty bitty these are. These are tiny. But you know what? That's fine. And then I spent another 100 points and got the SK2 Eye Cream. It's itty bitty. Little pretty. But it's eye cream, so you don't use a lot of it. Oh, and the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask for my hair. I like Amika. It's good stuff. Um, oh, I can still smell it through here. It smells so good. I love their stuff. Yeah, so there is my Sephora haul. Um, I really wish that these Hoodie Beauty Melted Shadows worked. If you haven't uh, watched my review, go see my review. It was posted earlier today. I'm going to post this today, too, because I feel so horrible every time I have a negative thing to say. But I have to be honest with everybody. So I just kind of want to end today on a positive note. Got a lot coming up this week, a lot of fun stuff. We're going to talk about changes that I want to see in YouTube in 2019. That is as a viewer and as a creator. Um, I've got Ulta Hall. I've got trying out new things that are going on. I am super excited to be back. All right, guys, spread the word about the makeup community. I want to build it to be a really fun, positive place to talk about all things makeup. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Whether you're new to makeup or your makeup maven, we would love to have you join the community. All right, guys, I will talk to you down in the comment section, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.